What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back with another video on the channel. And third time I have gone to this place, place known as Grumpy's Eat Big, located in Satterbrook, New Jersey. Um, still has high ratings on Google, 4.8. I think the ratings are up over 50 or so right now. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't intend to go to this place today, but I got tagged at about 10 o'clock in the morning by somebody on Instagram, on the Grumpy's Instagram page, and it turns out they had some new menu items, and I just looked at them and said, oh god, here I go. I had to go, so welcome back to another highest rated pizza in the area. Well, honestly, one of the best pizzerias in the area. I already named it. Ugh. I had to start with the pizza. Let me go through what I got, and then we're gonna try all this good stuff. They added about like ten or eleven menu items. The menu is twice as big as the last time I saw it, which is a W. I remember saying I think you should keep the menu the same way, but man, if this is any indication, I was wrong. So we started off with a pizza. I did get a half and half. You see that here? There's actually a calzone over here. I have so much stuff that it doesn't fit in the actual picture. <laughs> it's a frame. You also have an order of mozzarella sticks, and there is dessert behind here. Um, Y'all want to see the calzone? I haven't looked at it yet. It's still sealed. Y'all want to see it? Hold on. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek. Y'all don't have to stay and watch me eat it because I can't fit it in here. But look, this, this is a calzone. <laughs> this is a calzone. All right, hold on because I got to open it. Y'all think I'll be lying. Look, it's still sealed right here. So I haven't, I don't know what it looks like. But we're just going to pop this bad boy open real quick off to the side real quick. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right. Y'all going to look before me. Don't drop this shit. Does it look good? Bro, that's, that's not a couch, this thing is huge! <laughs> uh, you see why I can't fit it on the camera? Wait until you see what's in here. Hold on, we're gonna bring this off to the side. My goodness! That is the biggest calzone I've ever seen in my life. That thing costs like $17, too. Wow. Anyway, mozzarella sticks. There's fried Oreos back here. I haven't opened that either. We're going to open that together. We're going to do everything together. We'll start off with the pizza. I'm going to start off right here on this side. This is actually a buffalo chicken pizza. Um, Y'all know what buffalo chicken is. I don't even to go into it too much. But you can see, I always like this place because the ingredients are just ridiculous. Look at the buffalo chicken on here. Do you see the thicky, thick, thick, thickness? I don't want to talk. I just want to eat it. Y'all ready? I, this is just, it's just built different pizza. That's just what it is. Cheddar. Ugh. Big chunks of ricotta. The chicken. Look at this chicken, bro. Look, look at this. Y'all see that? Look at that. Look how tender that is. Listen. Crispy, but it's tender. It's not. Sometimes I get buffalo chicken pizza, and the chicken is like like dry as hell. This isn't even close to being dry. You do have the option of getting a blue cheese crumbles, but I didn't. I don't know why. Mmm. Look at this crust. Every time I go to this place, I'm just taking the back of how good it is. I'm not a biggest fan of buffalo chicken pizza. This is like probably one of the better, if not the best ones I've had. Damn, bro. And this is another reason why, like, everything just tastes like it's fresh made. It gets me every single time. Look at this chunk of cheese right here. There's a buffalo sauce on here, too. It's creamy. Not overly spicy, but just enough. Like you get the buffalo taste, and it is legitimately in every bite. This is actually probably like the best pizza that I've had. Not necessarily flavor-wise, but just the execution. I can tell it's even getting better. I didn't even know it was possible. And what I love the most, y'all think I work here at this point. Look at this. They give you dipping sauce for every pizza you get, right? And they even tell you. Little handwritten notes. That's the stuff that I like. Okay? It just tells you. Homemade crunch, homemade crunchy, homemade chunky red tomato dip, homemade creamy pink for your crust. Directions, handwritten, with love, and 
I said this before, the pizza is like $27, $28, and I swear to you, I, like I've had so many people go to this place because that I've said to go, and God, I'm sorry for cursing, Mom. Wow! Huh. That buffalo chicken, the, the actual sauce, that's top notch. Wow, it's not overpowering. It's not like super salty sometimes. It doesn't taste like it came from a bottle. This is incredible. I feel like this is all I do every time I've eaten this place. Three times. Every time I'm like, oh my god, this is so good. Y'all don't believe me. So many people in real life have told me, yo, I went to that place over in Saddlebrook and Grumpy. It was so good. Like, we think I'm lying to you? I'm not lying to you. This is... This is as good as it gets, pizza. Let me get the, the chunky red. Again, everything is just super scratch made. And it shows... I can see the garlic in here. I can taste the... What can I taste? I didn't even taste it yet. It's just built different pizza. It is, I, there's nothing else to say. If you haven't been here, you're going to have to watch the whole damn video. Just go. I'm just being honest. Crust is perfect. This sauce is amazing. My goodness. Yeah, that's like the best buffalo chicken pizza I've ever eaten. I don't even like buffalo chicken pizza, but I had to try it. We're trying everything. Moving on to pizza number two. This was my personal choice. I had to pick this one. I wanted something a little spicy, so we went with the Hellfire pizza. Yes, that is what it's called, and you'll see why in a second. Let me pull this bad boy off for you. These pizzas are so heavy, and I have no problem with that. Look at this. That is insane. Pepperoni, pickled jalapenos, cherry peppers, chili flakes, regota, and Mike's Hot Honey all on a pizza. If you don't want this, you're probably soft. Anyway, I gotta go in. You have to try this. The jalapenos are not from a jar. They're homemade. I can tell by the color and I can tell by how they look. My G actually took a jalapeno and chopped it up. Oh, that's so good. And pickled it to put on a pizza. There's levels. You can see the in look at the cross section. You can see all of the extra toppings going on in here. They do not skimp on the toppings at all. Oh my god. I'm getting the Mike's hot honey. That sweet heat. With that briny the jalapeno. These giant freaking things of regolta on here. Kind of like cools down the spice. That pepperoni is just top notch too. I just dropped the jalapeno. I'm actually kind of sad. I'm going to play it off like I'm not, because I'm eating this pizza. I remember I went to Domino's. <laughs> I have to say this. I'm sorry to everybody. I said I went to Pizza Hut. I'm sorry for everybody who owns, works at Pizza Hut, but y'all don't give a shit about me anyway. And I tried their spicy pizza they had. I tried it on camera, and it was delicious. This is what it's supposed to be. That spice is so, like, it lingers in a good way. Mmm. It's just levels with the ingredients. Again, the dough is perfectly cooked. They always give you fresh. Dippy dip dip. I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. Hold on. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, fuck it. Stop falling, man. Try to make a video. Stop falling, man. Try to make a video. Stop falling, man. You're gonna fall again, ain't you? Ha! I win. Oh. I'm gonna change my pants. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Mm. I've loved everything I've eaten from here. 
and this might be my true favorite. Incredible. I'm getting here for the sauce. This is what I can. Even, oh, that poor fucking, I swear to God, I'm cursing. I'm sorry, mom. I'm getting demonetized. It's okay. Somebody hit the venom. Wing game favorites. Incredible. Incredible. I can't, I so, so good. Both of these are an absolute slam dunk 10 out of 10. I don't give 10s out easily. I wouldn't change a damn thing about either of these. Perfect if you're looking for buffalo chicken. Perfect if you're looking for a spicy pizza. But not like, you know, one chip challenge spicy. Just like a little bit of spot, man. W's. I actually have to move these. I took two slices of pizza. I think I could fit the calzone for one big shot. That didn't work. So I have to move these pizzas to put this big ass calzone in here. Yeah. So we're going to do that. One second. Now introducing the world's biggest calzone I've ever seen in my life. Let me give you a little backstory before I actually open this bad boy up. On their menu, they just added the uh, subs. So they have different subs they can have, one of which is a Philly cheesesteak. This was announced in the morning. By the time I actually called to get my food, they ran out of sub bread. And I can't be mad at that because I know how good it is. I know people probably just gobbled them up. I hate y'all. I'm going to come for y'all later. But that's all in the past because what I said was, can we put that in a calzone? To which he laughed and said, okay. I said, let's do this. So this is a Philly cheesesteak calzone. I don't know if I can lift this up. Yes, I can. But it's the biggest damn calzone I've ever seen in my life. This costs $18. That's enough to feed a small army of seven. But we're going to cut this open somehow. Because I can't just bite this. It's physically impossible. And I don't know what's inside of it yet. Y'all are seeing this in real time right with me. So let's do it. Oh, sheesh. Okay, how the fuck? Here we got it. Yes, we do. Philly cheesesteak calzone. What are we saying? Y'all know y'all want this. Don't play with me. Let's go. See that drip, drip, drip? That is a juicy steak. That is real deal steak in here. Onions, peppers. God, but I mean, I would I would have loved this on a, on a um, on a sub roll. But this is damn good. And of course, lots of creamy, dreamy regatta. It's a big ass calzone though. I've taken like giant, like four or five giant bites. I got big head. Mmm. Oh my. That steak is unreal. That's actually like shaved ribeye. Like for real, real shaved ribeye. Try to see if I can get you a piece. You can't have one. Can't have one. Can't have one. Y'all know what I'm saying. But, that's like shaved steak right there. And you can tell. The steak has like a char grilled taste to it. And it's like grilled almost. There we go, I already knew was top of the line. Let's get the dipping sauce in here. Come here too. Playing with me. Yeah, I ain't ready for this. I need a dip though. Oh yeah. i gonna be honest with you. We don't even need a dipping sauce for this. The dipping sauce is excellent. Especially when you get to the parts that don't have steak in it, like the, the, the rolled up part. But you can tell it's just giant pizza dough. Like the same pizza they, the dough they serve the pizza on. And it's rolled up. And you can see that it's handmade. And you can see that it's giant. They have, but you can put whatever you want in a calzone. I just went for the Philly cheese because I wanted to try it. Let's try a dipping sauce one more time. That's so good. The one recurring theme you'll hear me say throughout all of these videos I've done here is the quality of the ingredients is just evident. You can just tell that everything that is served here 
tastes like quality top notch ingredients. It's not like some cheap shit they got from Restaurant Depot type stuff. And I know what that tastes like because I have my own membership. This. If I'm gonna pay $28 for a pizza, it better come like that. Not those because it's Oreos, that's different. Hmm. It's a really good calzone. Man. I'm trying to save room. <laughs> so much food. Levels. We gotta keep moving. Mozzarella sticks also fresh up on the menu. You can see. Those don't look like the ones you get from a box right there, and that is all I care about. Let's get up in here and try one of these first one with absolutely no anything. Crunchy, soft, W. Nah, man. Nah. They give me tuna sauce or two? They did. I got the pink sauce again. They put sauce in because they obviously. So I got the pink sauce, which is more of like that creamy base. Let me see how it goes with this. That tastes like chicken parm, vodka parm, something parm. But look at the breading on this. That is not what you see when you get a mozzarella stick from like a mom and or a cheaper pizzeria. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Did you see that pull? How it pulled? That's real mozzarella cheese, bro. Ooh, man. These are handmade. That's the front. Mm, God. These most of sticks were getting built different. The breading. Look at that breading. Just look at the breading, man. Just built different. They taste different. Even the mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. Just tastes different. That's so good. These are things that I'm not really liking. Like, I love a mozzarella stick. But I'm not like crazy with mozzarella sticks, unless they're like that. That, the, the cheese doesn't, like, it's not like, sometimes mozzarella sticks, and the mozzarella, they get, they, get, they get cold, it's no good, you don't want it. These, they're just, they're just built different. They're built different. That's all I'm going to say. I'll get one bite. I've been eating fast just to get to this. Come in here. This was what I was most excited about right here. Can y'all read it? I have not opened it yet. Fried Oreos. I haven't seen it. I wanted to share it with you guys. Sometimes when you get excited, I gotta share my love, my excitement with y'all. So we gonna open this up together. We gonna look together too, cause I'm I, we gonna have to do this together. Ready? Oh, please be. Bruh. Oh, the smell. Get out of here. These are fried Oreos, my boy. Look at this. Oh, the white chocolate drizzle. Y'all see the drizzle on the bottom? Y'all see it? Look like my uh, chicken from back then. You look at it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Oreos. If you know how to fried Oreo, it's exactly what it sounds like. You dip it in batter, and you fry it up, and you put the powdered sugar on it, and then they had to go above and beyond, right? Above and beyond. Above and beyond. Above and beyond. With the white chocolate ganache. Distinguished. We distinguished over here. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this right here. Y'all ready for this? I'm I'm just There's multiple Oreos in here! Mm. <laughs> nah man. Look at that. Listen. Born and raised in New Jersey. Deep fried Oreos on the boardwalk were a thing that my formerly chunky self used to eat all the time. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Like, don't even play with me. I do not hate being me at all. I've had a lot of fried Oreos. A lot. These are the best I've had. Number one. Right here. I don't like saying that. That's what it is, though. They, they say they shouldn't call these deep fried Oreos. It's an injustice. This is like a deep fried Oreo ball. There's like four Oreos in here. Y'all see it. Look at the size. Of Pause. Whoo. Mmm. 
There's nothing that needs to be said. This is stupid. This is stupid. Stupid good. And that white chocolate. You ever had the white chocolate dipped fudge Oreos? Think of that, but kicked up. I know y'all want this. Anybody who doesn't, y'all lying. I know somebody else is like, man, a little trash. Shut up. No, you lying. Don't cap like, stop. Stop. When you deep fry, you see how melty that gets? Mmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. You ever come out with fruity crisp Oreos? I'm going to bring them to him. And he's going to fry them up like this. Go. I'm going to keep it a full stack with y'all. I intended to share these. I was gonna give them away. You know, I don't like to eat the whole thing. Anybody who's watching this, if you expected food, I'm sorry. You can't have this shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's just so good. I don't know how many Oreos in here. Probably a dozen. Whatever. I don't care. And how much this cost? This is like $7? I don't care if you like pizza or not. Alone. With this ganache nosh. I just try to, mm. Nope, we ain't wasting shit. Mm-mm. Hey! Get in here. Mm-mm. You just didn't make it. Hey. Mm-mm. Oh, God, that's so good. That's so good. Oh my god, hold on, I don't need one more, I have to, I have to, this is so good. I'm gonna pay for this later, because you can't be eating this much sweets, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. Get me in here. I'm gonna feel better with myself if I save one. Legit, like I keep showing it to you because I'm just so happy. There's nothing to say. This right here is the best fried oreo I've ever eaten in my life. And I've eaten a lot. I used to be really big. <laughs> I eat love, man. Last bite. I got it. This is like... You need to have like a slow R&B song to this. Because I'm sitting here just... You know what I'm saying? Like some Keith Sweat. 1988. Might be older than me. But I know about it. This, this that don't you, your young kid don't know nothing about this music type of stuff. Hey, when your mom... You get up and start playing all the old stuff, cleaning the, the kitchen Saturday, Sunday morning, and you can't go in there because it's all mop and, and, and pine saw, and you can't go. But they be playing this kind of music, that slow R&B to my yakis, and then about this right here. Just that, just that real grown music. That's what this is, in an Oreo, wrapped up in some dough. I want to eat that so bad, you have no idea. I'm not going to do it, though. I swear to God, I'm not going to do it. Willpower. <laughs> I can do this, though. I ain't saying nothing about that. Oh. They about done themselves again. Grumpy. Grumpy's eat big. Y'all would like literally like like the goats around here. I'm not playing. Like, this is just what it is. There's just it's just built different food. Damn, that's good. I want to eat that so bad. So I'm leaving right now. Listen, I, I give it a five star. Whoever gave this lesson a five star, we can come can we chop it up? Like we go get an espresso. And just talk about this because what are y'all thinking? Anyway, we'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.